Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to graph the quadratic function. And these are the two examples that we're going to graph this time. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This one is the first example that we have here. And we're going to graph this quadratic function. We're in, as you can see, we are given the quadratic function y is equal to 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. So first thing you need to do is to identify the form of this graph. And this form is already in the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k, wherein this one is the vertex form. Now, in the vertex form, we can easily identify the vertex. So we have the vertex. And remember, guys, that the coordinates of the vertex are h, comma, k. So how are we going to identify the vertex given this function? So as you can see, this is your h. So you will see here negative 1. But if you will see negative 1 here, it reverse the sign or could mean additive inverse. If this is negative 1, your h is positive 1. So nakawa niyo pa ba yung ibig sabihin? Eh, sir, what if kapag positive naman po ito? Edi, post, negative 1 na magiging value ng h mo. Ganun na siya kasimple. So, let's move on. For the value of k naman, this is your k, the number outside or the constant. So, kung ano nakikita nyo number dito or integer, automatic, yan na mismo yan. Meaning, your k is positive 3. So, after identifying the vertex, guys, what you need to do is this. You can graph the vertex. So, lagyan natin dito vertex 1, 3. So, where's 1, 3? This is your x. Ito siya. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. Meaning your vertex is located here. So, this is your vertex. Lagyan natin label. Vertex. Now, after the vertex... Uh, there are different ways. Uh, don't worry. Uh, don't don't get confused. There are different ways on how to graph this one. After the vertex, I will try to find the opening of the parabola. Okay, yung opening ng ating parabola. Kasi importante na malaman natin yung opening. So for the opening, sir, how can we say or how can we determine the opening of the parabola if wala pa tayong graph? The value of a will tell you about the opening. So listen to me, eh? I will put it here So lower part natin. If the value of A is greater than 0, again, if the value of A is greater than 0, meaning, the opening is upward. And if the value of A is less than 0, so this is less than 0, downward. So, sir, why do we need to know the opening of the parabola? It will give you the visualization, or in other words, you can visualize if the parabola goes up or down para malaman mo kung tama or mali yung ginagawa mo. So, after the, so opening natin, so as you can see, the value of A is positive 2. Okay? Positive 2. A, 2 is greater than 0, meaning the opening is upward. So, we will expect that our parabola is like this. Nanti magiging itsura niya. So, after the opening, lagay natin dito yung axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. Remember guys, the axis of symmetry, the formula is x is equal to h. Again, what is the purpose of axis of symmetry? Uh, it is a line. Actually, this is not, hindi siya part ng parabola, pero is yung line that is cutting or dividing the parabola into two equal parts. So, makakapag-create siya ng mirror effect. So, later on, malalaman nyo kung paano, anong importance nun. So, for the axis of symmetry, since siya x is equal to h, since ang h natin is 1, meaning, yung ating axis of symmetry is x, is equal to 1. Ito siya. And when we draw that axis of symmetry, draw lang natin eh. 
para makita nyo. That is perpendicular to your x-axis. Drawing natin siya to siya. Ayan. Ito rin. So, your axis of symmetry is x is equal to 1. Continue natin, guys. So, what's next? What's next is, titignan natin kung meron tayong magiging y-intercept. Okay? Y-intercept natin si papataas tayo. Meron yan. So, since pataas tayo, guys, ha? Ito isipin nyo mabuti, ha? Since pataas tayo, since pataas yung ating graph, matouch nyo si y-axis. Pero, sure ako na wala tayo maging x-intercept. Kasi, kung pataas yan, imagine na pataas siya. Hindi siya pupunta, dadaan dito sa x-axis natin. So, lagay natin dito ngayon, lagay natin dito y-intercept. If y-intercept ang hahanapin natin, guys, meaning, the value of x is 0. Let x be equal to 0. So, paano magagawin yun? Punta kami yung equation. You have y is equal to ito. 2 times yung x mo 0. Palta mo itong 0. 0 minus 1. And then squared plus 3. Next natin, y is equal to 2 times negative 1 squared plus 3. Simplify, y is equal to 2. Negative 1 squared is positive 1 or 1 plus 1. y is equal to 2. Oh, sorry, this is 3 plus 3. 2 times 1 is 2, then plus 3. Meaning, your y-intercept is simply 5. Or, ang coordinates nito guys, I 0, 5. So, meron na tayong second point. Sa parabola natin, meron tayong first point, which is the vertex. Yung ating second point is the y-intercept. So, what will happen is that we can graph that. So, 0, 5 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito siya located. Okay? Actually, pwede na tayong mag-create ng parabola. Ito na siya. So, ito isang half ng parabola. Tiro na natin yan. Ngayon, sir, paano po yung second pa, yung second na natin? Paano po yung other half of the parabola? ba? I told you er earlier that the axis of symmetry is creating a mirror effect or dinidivide niya into two equal parts ng ating parabola. Kung mirror effect yan, guys, ibig sabihin niyan, the distance of this point, again, the distance of this point is equal uh, the distance of this point from the axis of symmetry is equal to the distance of this point to the other point of the parabola. Meaning, bilangin natin na, meron tayong 1 from axis of symmetry going to the y-intercept or this point, 1 unit. Meaning, meron tayong isa pang point dito. From axis of symmetry going here, meron pa tayong isang point. So, bakit nga po ulit? Kasi nga guys, meron siyang mirror effect. Meaning, Equal sila dito. Mag-equal silang dalawa. So, if that is your second point, eventually, you can draw this parabola. And, here's the graph of your parabola. Yung iba, kailangan nila ng tatlong points dito. One, two, three. But, sa atin, in, in our case, hindi na natin kailangan kasi, actually, we drew the parabola na. Okay? So, meron tayong, ang ginawa natin, recap lang tayo, we identify the vertex, the opening of the parabola, axis of symmetry, and then yung ating intercept is if possible. Again, meron tayong y-intercept, pero wala tayong x-intercept because hindi niya madadaanan itong x-axis natin because the parabola is going up. Okay? So, let's continue with item number 2. For item number 2, let's continue. Ayan. Yeah. Now, for item number 2, so here it is. Look at the graph. I look at the equation. We have y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, we will identify the vertex. Pero ang tanong dito, sir, paano po natin ma-identify yung vertex kasi hindi na siya naka-vertex form? Okay, vertex. 
Meron tayong formula. Don't worry, guys. Hindi ko kayo pababayaan, Char. Uh, meron tayong formula for the vertex. Okay? Ang formula natin for the vertex, di ba, h, k, yan, di ba? h, k. Para mahanap mo yung iyong h, the formula is simply negative b over 2a. Okay? H muna tayo, ah. Negative b over 2a. Dito, sa ating graph, this is your b and this is your a. Substitute natin yung values na yan. You have your h is equal to negative from the formula. Then your b, which is 4, over 2 times, 2 tayo, ah. The value of a, which is 2. Simplify. You have your h is equal to negative 4 over 4. Or, pag simplify natin to guys, your h is equal to negative 1. This is your h. Ngayon naman, meron tayong definite formula for the value of the, um, the value of the k. Pero ang ginagawa ko dito guys, di ba yung k na natin, di ba equal kay y naman yan. I will plug in the value of h here. I will plug in the value of h here. Again, meron tayong specific value for k, pero hindi na natin gagawin kasi mas tricky yun. Ang gagawin na lang dito, yung nakuha natin value ng h, kasi ano rin yan eh, x din to, x is equal to negative 1 din yan guys. Okay? Laging gawin dito, is that I will use the original equation, y is equal to 2, x squared, plus 4x, plus 1, plug in ko si h or x as negative 1, papalitan ko lahat ito, magiging 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 1. Again, I replace all the variable x by negative 1. Simplify. This is 2. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Neg uh, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, kaya minus 4 plus 1. Simplify to. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 4, plus 1. Your y now is equal to 2 minus 4 is negative 2, plus 1, that is negative 1. Okay? Tama ba tayo? Check natin mabuti guys, baka may mali tayo solution natin. Tama ba? Oops, may mali ako dito guys. Ito na. Nakita ko na yung mali ko. Sabi na eh. Mali ako ng pagkopya. This is 2. Sorry. This is 2. And this is 2. So this is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 4. Magiging 0. Sorry guys. Now, if your y is equal to 0, meaning your k is equal to 0. So magiging vertex natin dito guys. Ito. Your vertex, h kama k, di ba? Your h is negative 1. is negative 1. Your k is 0. Buti na double check natin. Now, gawin natin dito, graph natin yung ating vertex. So, we have the vertex, which is negative 1, comma 0, negative 1. So, dito siya. Ito yung vertex natin. Okay. Next natin gagawin is yung opening, guys. Importante malaman natin yung opening. For the opening, hmm, yung ating, sa mga tayo ilagay dito. Bako lang tayo ng space. Sige. Opening. Since yung ating A is equal to 2, ito siya. A is greater than 0. Meaning, 2 is greater than 0 kasi guys, upward siya. Upward. So, okay, itsura ng ating graph or parabola ay pa ganito. So, ngayon, uh, kung mapansin mo, meron tayong, ano, meron tayong x-intercept, which is ito na. Kung ano yung ating vertex, ayun na rin yung ating x-intercept. So, kung pataas ito, so definitely, madadaanan niya si ating 
y-axis, meaning meron tayong y-intercept. For the y-intercept, guys, let me move solution here. Y-intercept tayo. Ah, hindi. Wait. Uh, axis of symmetry muna tayo. Ah, sige, ulayin na natin yung y-intercept. Let x be equal to 0. So, plug in natin, guys. Move ko na ng konti. Balikan natin mamaya. Yung equation natin is ito. Okay. Y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. Plug in natin, guys, ha. Again, kapag mukha kayo na y-intercept yung x means 0, this is y is equal to 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 2. Ayan. 0 squared is 0 times 2, that is 0. Plus, 4 times 0 is 0, then plus 2. So, 0 plus 0 plus 2, your y now is equal to 2. Meaning, yung ating, ating y-intercept is 0, 2. Pag enough natin yan, guys, ito siya. 0, 2. Wait. Dito siya, guys. Ito. Now, para naman sa ating um, axis of symmetry, Symmetry. Diba? X is equal to H. So, if X is equal to H, ang ating axis of symmetry, your H is negative 1, that is X is equal to negative 1. Paano ang graph ngayon nun? Perpendicular siya sa X-axis. Dadaan siya sa vertex, ha? Ito siya. Draw tayo. Ayan. As well as here. Ayan. So, ngayon, Kapansin mo, balik lang natin. Yan. We can draw the half, the first half of the parabola here. Yan, pataas tayo. And, as you can see, from this point to the axis of symmetry, meron lang tayong one unit. Meaning, we can have another point here from this axis of symmetry, one point or one unit. This is our third point. So that we could draw the graph of the parabola from here up here. Can di mala perfectly U shaped. At least we drew the parabola. So in guys, again recap lang tayo vertex. Gamit yung formula. Tapos opening y intercept sa axis of symmetry. So yun guys. I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismo video natin on how to graph the quadratic function. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget again to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!